Apple just held their Let Loose event, where they unveiled new iPad Pros, new iPad Airs, gave us a look at a new Apple Pencil and keyboard, and said the word AI a lot. They also announced an update for Logic Pro for iPad, but this isn't just an update, it's a whole new version. Logic Pro for iPad 2. Here's everything we know so far. Apple have revamped what was already one of its standout features in Logic, Drummer, plus added two new AI-powered session players in the form of a bass and keyboard player. We get a good look at the new redesigned editing options for Drummer and these new session bass and keyboard players, and it looks like there are a lot of options to change and tweak their performances. Based on what was shown and the information available at Logic Pro version 2's page at apple.com, these new session players are deep, with each of the three having unique controls. In the bass player, it looks like you can adjust things like the range of notes it will play, and at this part here, it looks like you can maybe even edit your own patterns. The hand icons in the keyboard session player suggest to me that you'll be able to do things like have it play back with a right or left hand pattern, and adjust the range of notes it'll play too. Drummer itself has also received an overhaul judging by the info available, with a whole host of new controls in its editor window too. The new AI bass and keyboard session players arrive alongside two new instruments, Studio Bass and Studio Piano. Apple's blurb on the Studio Bass says, Choose from six history-defining bass guitar instruments for your bass parts, or invite a session player to lay down an ultra-realistic bass line, which sounds like they can be used as standalone instruments as well, which is nice. Customise the sound with a wide range of tone controls, including scrapes and string noise. Again, it looks like we have really in-depth editing options here. You can adjust playing style, add mute notes, control neck and bridge volumes, and loads more. And on the studio piano, they say you can choose from three meticulously sampled pianos and customise with a mix of multiple mic positions, pedal and key noise, release samples, and sympathetic resonance. It does look like there are less controls here for this instrument, but if we jump across to Apple's Logic Pro for iPad 2 press release, there's a screenshot here of another of the three sample pianos, the Studio Grand, which has additional stereo and mono microphone controls, so it may be that each of the instruments within these plugins has their own unique set of controls. This wasn't mentioned in the event, but another new feature is the chord track, which allows you to create and edit chord progressions while your session players follow along. The drummer only has to follow the BPM of your project, whereas if you're making multiple chord changes or key changes throughout a project, it makes sense that you have a guide that these new instruments can follow. From the looks of the screenshots, there's loads of fine control in here, with selectable root notes, bass notes, scales, and the ability to control it with MIDI even. Stem Splitter, if it works, could be the standout new feature in this massive Logic Pro update. Apple say with Stem Splitter you can recover moments of inspiration from any audio file like old demos, performances, or unfinished ideas in voice memos. I like the sound of that in particular. Stem Splitter allows you to separate nearly any mixed audio recordings into four distinct parts drums, bass, vocals, and other instruments, right on your device. With these tracks separated, it's easy to apply effects, add new parts, or change the mix. On paper at least, this sounds incredibly useful. If you're a producer who likes the idea of virtually crate digging for drum or vocal samples and being able to separate those samples out in seconds at the tap of a button, then Stem Splitter could end up being Logic's best feature overall, not just the best thing in this new update. If. It. Works. Stem separating options on iOS aren't particularly great as it stands, apps like Let's Unmix can give sometimes usable results, so hopefully this works a bit better. Out of everything arriving in Logic Pro for iPad 2, this is the feature I'm looking forward to testing out the most, I think. 
Chroma Glow is an all new effect that Apple says models the sounds produced by a blend of the world's most revered studio hardware by leveraging AI and the power of M series Apple Silicon. More on that later on. Users can dial in the perfect tone with five different saturation styles to add ultra realistic warmth, presence and punch to any track. They can also choose from modern clean sounds, nostalgic vintage warmth or more extreme styles that can be shaped and modulated to taste. So a saturation plugin then? There must be more to it than that for Apple to feature it so heavily in the event itself. So again, I'm really looking forward to spending some time with Chroma Glow when Logic Pro for iPad 2 releases and seeing what it's actually capable of. Apple didn't mention this at all really, but in the promo images on their website and in their press release, the three icons in the bottom left of Logic's screen have been changed in this new version. No idea if this change means that there's some kind of new functionality here, but I thought it was worth pointing out anyway. With the big old hike in price to the new iPad Pro models, it wouldn't be unreasonable to expect Apple to up the price of Logic Pro as well. Thankfully, it looks like Apple are keeping the pricing exactly the same. Yes, it is still a subscription for $4.99 slash £4.99 per month or $49 slash £49 per year. Another surprise, Logic Pro for iPad 2 remains compatible with all the same models as the previous version, with a few provisos. Hidden away at the bottom of the press release in very small print, you'll find it says M series Apple Silicon is recommended when using session players on iPad. M series Apple Silicon is required when using stem splitter on iPad and on Mac and M-Series Apple Silicon is recommended when using Chroma Glow on iPad, and M-Series Apple Silicon is required when using it on Mac. Meaning Stem Splitter is only available on iPads with an M-Series chip, and Chroma Glow and Session Players might not run particularly well for those running an iPad 8th, 9th or 10th gen, iPad Mini 5th or 6th generation, or iPad Air 4th generation. I'll be interested to test out those features on my base model 8th generation iPad when version 2 of Logic releases. Logic Pro for iPad 2 will be available on May 13th, so there's almost a week to wait before we can get our sweaty hands on those shiny new features. I for one cannot wait. If you found this video helpful, give that like button a good hard slap, I really appreciate it. And if you want to find out a bit more about the swanky new AI features found in Logic Pro for iPad, 